the set of questions we are trying to answer in the finite difference discussion is no different from the questions you need to answer if you use any numerical methods for solving either differential equations or something else. All right. The first question is how do we approximate a derivative or anything that you can't approximate, you, you can't do exactly with arithmetic, right? So how do I, here, how do I approximate a derivative or second order derivative with arithmetic given the limited information I have about the function depending on if it's finite difference or finite volume? Two is, now I made an approximation. How much error does the approximation cause? We need to understand and know that. Three is that, okay, I made some error in approximating a derivative, and I solved my equations living with that error. How does that error affect the solution? Does it make the solution completely wrong or still approximately correct? And if it's approximately correct, how much error is there in the solution, not just in the derivative? So these are probably the three most important questions to answer here. So of course, you can't answer the second and third uh, question without, uh, I mean, you can't answer the, the, the second question without answering the first, and you can't answer the third without un answering the second. So let's uh, start from the first. In final difference, how do we approximate a derivative given only the knowledge of the function at the grid points. So grid point here, grid point here. I know the value of the function exactly, but only at these grid points. What can I do? All right. So we are going to discuss all of these questions first uh, using the heat equation as our example. So the heat equation is partial u again partial t is equal to kappa times partial square u partial x squared. Right, and our goal here is to, just like in our uh, theoretical, our analytical solution using Fourier series, our goal is to is to eliminate this eliminate this equation as a partial differential equation and convert this equation into an ordinary differential equation. And the assumption is we know how to solve ordinary differential equations, right? And uh, we're going to say a little bit of how to solve that later on, but the expectation is you already know something about how to solve ordinary differential equations. Maybe the only thing you know is using ODE45 in MATLAB or something, but like uh, that's, uh, that, that's, that's, that's good, but like at least you know, you need to know something like that, right? Okay. At least uh, you need to, you, you are given ordinary differential equation, you can't just uh, be blank. Now, this is a partial differential equation. And uh, it only if I can reduce the partial x term in this, everything is going to be ordinary differential equation because the only derivative I'm going to be taking is t, right? It's with respect to t. So we'll be focusing on how do we approximate the second order spatial derivative using only these points. Okay, and in order for me to derive an ordinary dif differential equation. I don't actually need to know the spatial derivative of u at the intermediate points in between these grid points. I only need to know what is partial u, partial t at x equal to, for example, let me call this x0, x1, these are the grid points, x2, up to all the way to xn, where n is the number of grid points. So x equal to xi, I only need to know x at these grid points. Because if I know the uh, time derivative of u at these grid points, then I can uh, either, if you know how to integrate ODEs analytically, I can integrate ODE analytically, or if I can use ODE45, I use ODE45, all right? So, so if I know this, as a function, as a question mark function of u at x equal to x0, u at x equal to x1, 
etc. u at x equal to x n. So if I can express that, if I can approximate this partial derivative using a certain computation out of all these grid point values, then I'm good. It is no longer a noise OD as in the Fourier series case where each k individually is decoupled from other k's. But it'll be a coupled set of ordinary differential equations where the derivative of each particular x i is may depend on the solution u at other grid points. But this is going to be more flexible with different types of boundary conditions and uh, uh, it's easier to generalize into multiple dimensions for complex domains. All right. So this is the task, is how to come up with this question mark function. <laughs>